Tyler. Hey guys, this is the second part of that video. I love how I did this. Let me just do it normally. Second, second, second part of that video. Um, of being an outsider. <laughs> so, me, I am an, I, I, I think I'm an introvert. I think I've, I've accepted being an introvert because before I didn't really think that I could, I, I was like, no, uh, you can't give yourself, like I, I, back then I was like, you can't label yourself, you, you don't fit all the criteria, you just want to label yourself because you feel that you want to fit in some way and you don't. You really don't fit in anyway because you don't you don't meet the core. You're not you're not an extrovert and you're not let's say let's, let me just put it as in my own words, you're not good enough to be an um uh introvert. You're not introverted enough to be an introvert because look you're talking to a screen. You're talking to all these people out there which will be many at some point. <laughs> but the thing is I decided to do YouTube because no one could see me in real time. They will see me when they see me, but I'm more confident by myself. I'm more confident on my own. I can say whatever. I can plan what I'm going to say. I can say whatever I need to say. I can just um, speak without any interruption, without anybody telling me that I'm wrong or anything like that. I mean, there's the comment section, but I mean, it's not in real time. It's not in front of my face, you know? And I guess that that's the, the cowardice part of me. Which is very, it's very real. I'm not going to lie and say, no, I'm, I'm not afraid of anything. No, it's a lie. I'm afraid of many things. I'm actually very paranoid, but also, I, it's, 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 it's for another video, guys. But anyway, so I can, I, I think I can now say that I'm an introvert because this thing of being an outsider was caused by me being an introvert. Because there's introverts, well, me, 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 just me, right? I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that all introverts um, are outsiders. I'm really not saying that because some people are introverted, but they're, they have friends and they, they like, they, they just free amongst their friends and they just free while being introverted. You know, some people are just not made to be like loud and out there. But for me, my fear of rejection and me just like del delving deeper into myself caused me to like to be on the outside. I mean, my friends, my two friends that I had in high school, some days they would just be like, I'm not coming to school. And I would always go to school because what am I going to tell my parents? No, I don't want to come to school. Why? Because my parents are both teachers, as you guys know. What am I going to say? I don't want to go to school. Why? Because my friends aren't going. No. Because I, 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 I feel sick. No. That never worked. It was always, go until, go, go until you can't, you can't take it anymore. Then go to the sick room and we'll come fetch you. And my sister and I were always like, we, we tried, we stayed, we ended up staying the whole day. It was never, we, were, we never thought we were that sick to go home. Never in our lives. Like, my sister threw up. And she she only went home later. Not, like, same time. She went home later. So, we never thought that we could just leave. But... So, while I was in school alone, you know, I wasn't the person to go be like, no, I'm sitting alone. I'm going to go sit with other people that I know. Nah. Me, I sat and I ate my lunch alone, even in the middle of the field, alone. And at that point, I was like, before I would be like, oh, I wonder how I look being sitting here alone. But after a while, I just started observing people. And like, I enjoyed, I still enjoy observing people, just observing their interactions, like stalkery. I'm not, I'm not that into it where I listen to what they're saying. I really don't listen to what they're saying. Um, but I literally just see like their facial expressions, 
they they how they laugh how they feel about this person because you can see from the way somebody laughs how they feel about the person right so yeah so that's what i would do and that's where i started writing a lot of my poetry just sitting alone on the field at break that's where i would write most of my poetry and then i like my friend <laughs> my one friend she's like so nice we weren't friends before but we were in the same class in grade eight, and then her group would sit close to where my group would sit, and th- we would, like, she would be like, "No, just come sit with us." She was so nice, but I literally, I w- I really did not mind sitting alone. It was it was enjoyable for me, but that was me just putting myself on the outside. I I I felt. The fear of rejection. I'm like, what am I going? What's going to happen if I go and ask somebody to sit with him? What if they say no? What if they mock me? What if they laugh at me? Then, like, I've never experienced bullying, but I always, I made sure that I never would. Like, people could talk about me. Like, here, like, people speak can speak about you in all like eleven official languages. They can speak about you. And what I ended up doing is like, I don't understand most of these languages. So if they're talking about me, they must enjoy themselves because it's not going to affect me. They must be happy. They must they must be content because I don't know what they're saying. And I won't know what they're saying. So they can continue as long as they're happy. And other times I was just oblivious. And like, I've made myself this outside. I, I even now at university, I sit alone. Um... And then people think that they must come and find me when I sit alone because me sitting alone is welcoming everybody. But the reason is when there are people sitting opposite, like there's two tables, when they're sitting on the other side, if I face them, like face their faces, then I would have to take my laptop out so that I'm not focused on them. So I'm not looking into somebody's eyes by accident at any point. Or... If I'm not planning on taking my laptop out, then I sit with my back to them. So I'm not looking at anybody at any point in time. When I'm focused on something and somebody comes and sits there, I know that they're there, but I won't look at them at any given time. And like, yeah, they sit down, I greet them and I carry on, right? But like you can see by the walk of somebody, their intentions. And half the time I'm here, I'm like, literally, this is me and the table, that's why my eyes are so bad. But then people will come, like, stand next to me. I'm like, oh, this person wants something from me. I hope they can see that I'm not going to look up. But they never do, unfortunately. And it's difficult for me to want to talk to somebody when I specifically sat alone to avoid that. And the fact that I say, no, I like being alone. They're like, no, but you must make friends. I'm like, no, I'm fine. They're like, no, but no one can know. I'm like, Elsa. They're like, no one can be alone. You need to make friends. You need to learn how to communicate. I must say, I do have good communication skills, but like in in day-to-day things, but don't come and ask me to communicate about my feelings and all the why. I like that, that, that sort of um, expectation will never be understood to me because if we're not close, I don't expect it from you. You have no right to expect it from me. If you, you, we just met, you can't expect me to tell you my whole life. I won't. I really won't. It takes me a while to open up. But I'm going on all of the tangents right now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So, basically, even even when I walk, when I whenever I go to buy food or go to a class from where I'm sitting, where I was sitting by myself, I put my earphones in. And I make sure that I look angry. Because I I don't want anyone to stop me. I don't want anyone to walk in front of me. Like, some people literally have to walk in front of me so I can stop and pay attention to them. But I literally put earphones on. Like, there's been... The only times I'm not wearing earphones when I'm walking is when my battery has died. That's the only time. Even walking from just a seat to, to my father's car when he's fetching me. I wear earphones because I really do not want that interaction. I really don't want it. I'm not ready for it. I'm not prepared for it. And I guess it's a bad thing. Like I can talk to people in class. Not like, you know, 
I'm not I'm not one of those people who just talk constantly. But I can talk to people. I can actually make conversation. I can uh, guide a conversation. But first, like first and foremost, I won't initiate it unless I need help with something. And I won't like. And I know people are gonna be like, yeah, you you expect too much from people. And the thing is, if I expect you to initiate the conversation. It means that I've welcomed you to speak to me. But I'm not expecting you to speak to me. I'm not forcing you to speak to me. I'm not calling you to speak to me. I'm just sitting by myself. So if you want to speak to me, then you speak to me and you guide the conversation. You see. Because it's difficult for me to to just be open and to speak to people who I was not planning on speaking to. Because... It's like having a crush. You're not just going to walk up to somebody and be like, yeah. So, tell me about yourself. Talk to me. Like, I feel like for girls, it's hard. Because I spoke to some guys and they were like, no, but won't you ever approach it? Like, they get so offended. They're like, won't you ever approach a guy if you have a crush on him? I'm like, no. Why would I do that? Why would I approach him? I can I can, I can, can watch him from a distance. I can learn. Like, I I told this guy, if I'm really, really that interested, I will learn about him from the conversations he has from with other people. I will learn what he likes to watch, what games he plays, what but I by never ever having spoken to him in my life, I can learn that from listening to the conversations he has with other people around me. Obviously I'm not gonna go and find these conversations and listen in if he's around me and I hear him speaking then I can hear what he likes. But I'm not just gonna be like so up guy i like you we should um get together sometime no i'm not doing that it's weird don't do it well if if that's you do it but i won't i i know i will literally go up to you and ask like i will ask I'll, like okay let me let me let me put, let me say this properly I will go up to you. Let's say I have a crush on you. I will go up to you after having heard all the things you like in a conversation. And lead the conversation with the things you like. So I can learn more about you. You see? I'm not just going to be like, so yeah, like a uh, school bag. <laughs> I have one of those too. No. I'm not. No. Like some some guys are really slick. They, they'll be like, oh, ma, do you know where this place is? Um, Do you know how to do this? I'm like, no, actually I don't. Then I'm like, oh, okay so how are you <laughs> and i'm just like wow guy wow wow shout great but i like being alone way 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 more than i like people <laughs> I, t- I i take roots with less people I take roots to get to class with less people where I can. Like, I don't know why, but for me, I feel way more comfortable that way. And the thing is, well, I'll talk about that in the next part of this video. But there's there's a reason why I'm like that, why I'm so comfortable with it, why I'm so accepting of it, why I actually go through effort to make it that way. But you guys, I'll talk about that in the next part. Don't worry, it's coming really soon. So, see you guys later. I haven't done this in a while, have I? Anyway, see you guys.